video we'll have a think about the uh, function or role of synapses and how we actually uh, we can use synapse to control how the action potentials are generated. So first of all, think about the role of synapses. Uh, so why are synapses important? One thing is that we can ensure there's a unidirectional transmission. What that means is that the action potential is always, or the nerve impulse is always uh, transmitted along in a single direction. It's always going from the sensory neuron to the relay, then to the motor neuron, uh, and not going in the opposite direction where it goes from the motor back to sensory. So this avoids having, uh, this ensures that all of the impulses are actually being transmitted through and received by the body. Another thing is that uh, the synapses can cause multiple responses from one stimulus. So what we mean by that is that there is one single stimulus, so let's say, for example, you have been, your hand has touched something really, really hot, not only will your brain receive uh, a signal from it, from one of the synapse gap, it will also be able to uh, tell you that it tell you at least a reflex signal that your muscles need to pull back and uh, respond from it or any other things that you need your body will do. So from one single stimulus, you would have a multiple, you would have multiple responses that your body would receive to tell you what has just happened and what your body needs to do. This could be a reflex uh, action or it could be a conscious action. On the other hand, it could work in the opposite way, where you can receive multiple sig uh, multiple signals or stimulus, and all together would coordinate one response. So again, that relies on the different gaps, the different synapses in between to connect multiple neurons, because we say synapses basically connect the neurons together. Summation is basically a mechanism where uh, they control if the new action potential would be triggered or not. And that is based on the buildup of neurotransmitters in the synapse. Uh, and only when they get to a threshold level, that's when the action potential will be generated. So here are two examples to illustrate that. One of them is called spatial summation. So in spatial summation, what we mean by that is when uh, there are multiple, uh, multiple neurons uh, that are connected to one single synapse to the next one. So we say that uh, in a spatial summation, multiple or more, at least more than one of the presynaptic neuron would release the neurotransmitters to diffuse across the synapse gap to the next bit to trigger the action potential. So this is uh, what spatial summation is. Whereas let's say in this particular case, if only one of the presynaptic neuron receives the signal, but there is none on the other, then therefore, there will be no action potential generated on the next bit. This is only when both of these neurons uh, release that neurotransmitter, that's an, only the situation where the new action potential can be generated. So this is what we call spatial summation. Whereas on the other hand, we've got temporal summation, which is, as you can see, it's only one presynaptic neuron and one postsynaptic neuron. But in this case, it's talking about the frequency of the action potential received at the presynaptic neuron. So in this case, we say that there are multiple high frequency uh, action potential being received at the uh, presynaptic neuron, sort of like that. So therefore, because there's loads of them, then obviously a lot more neurotransmitters can actually be released from that action potential. Whereas here, when there's only one specific action potential being sent along the presynaptic neuron, only one, you know, one bit out of, let's say, three here, of neurotransmitters can actually be triggered, therefore, uh, to be released, therefore, no action potential would be triggered on the postsynaptic neuron. So here it relies on the, literally, the concentration of the neurotransmitters being released for that action potential to be triggered in the postsynaptic neuron. So this is summation, which is the mechanism in which we can control if a new action potential will be generated after the synapse based on the concentration of neurotransmitter being released by the presynaptic neuron.